Hi, this is Kenzo from lovelifedrawing.com. This is the start of a series of videos designed to help you build the foundational skills of life drawing, with the end goal being expressive drawings done in your own style. We're going to go through a straightforward but doable drawing process and complement it with exercises designed to help you build the skills outlined in each lesson. The lessons and exercises come from Mako, an award-winning artist and figure drawing expert. Hello! And me, a life drawing student that understands the challenges because I'm still going through them every day. You're only really going to improve through practice, so to get the most out of this course, you'll need to do the exercises and general figure drawing practice regularly. Now, before we get into any specific life drawing techniques, it's important for us to talk about the learning process itself, which is what this video is about. With drawing, the information to practice time ratio is insane. It can take 10 minutes to take in a piece of how-to information and then take hundreds of hours to actually be able to do that thing well. So if you take in a large variety of technical advice quickly, you're creating a huge burden of practice debt for yourself. The tricky thing is that there's so much information out there. Not only is there a large quantity, but a lot of it's advanced and requires a solid foundation before it will be useful. There are videos demonstrating the drawing process that expert artists use. There are big chunky anatomy books listing every part of the human body. There are whole courses dedicated to perspective or composition or whatever. And the people that create all of this are so generous in wanting to give away all the information that they have in their head. But there are a couple of problems that can arise with having so much information at our fingertips. There's a phenomenon called the expert blind spot where experts forget all the steps, the temporary failures, bad practices and repetitions that they needed to get through on their own journey. The second difficulty is that with so much knowledge out there, it's easy to forget that you're also aiming to be expressive, to go beyond just technique towards creativity the freedom of your lines, your unique observations, and your own aesthetic style can suffer if you're consumed only with technical know-how and academic correctness. So Mako and I struggled with this when she tried to teach me. She didn't realize all the little things I needed to know, the steps that I needed to take before I could take in the more advanced information that she wanted to give me. I'd look at beautiful art demonstrations and feel inspired by them, but also feel lost when it came time to actually draw myself. So we worked through all of that together, and the result of that work together is this beginner mini course, where we can go through things at a challenging but doable pace. Learning to draw isn't a sprint or even a marathon. It's a big adventurous journey. We have a rough idea of where we want to go, but we don't need to know every detail of the journey yet. We may be tempted to just try and teleport straight to the destination, but firstly it's not possible, and secondly, where's the fun in that? We just need to start taking steps, and maybe know the next few streets to walk down. If you're at the start of the adventure, we would suggest you spend a lot of time learning to build your drawings rather than print them. This means not trying to draw the figure in detail bit by bit like a printer. Instead, approach it like you're building. Start with a rough plan and then build a basic foundation. Then start to flesh out the drawing with a focus on the most important lines and shapes, still keeping things simple and then finally add the last little flourishes of detail. In other words, build up your observational skills so that you can start to capture the figure in very simple lines and shapes, and then you can start to add layers of detail on top of that simplified foundation. Now all this is only going to work if you actually do the exercises and the regular practice. You don't need to rush the learning process, it's going to take time and it will need some patience, but you do have to put in regular and consistent practice. Now we're going to continually add additional 
exercises and more in-depth lessons. So to stay up to date with what we're doing, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our newsletter at lovelifedrawing.com. Thank you for watching.